Hello and welcome to this second meeting of Benny's Declaration of Signatories. I think we all remember how we left Curitiba only 16 months ago after two days of interesting discussions and a final event that produced the Curitiba Manifesto, a real commitment to what cities need to be in the future. But we didn't expect what was about to come. The unprecedented and difficult times the pandemic brought to our lives has helped us to understand even better that this society we were so proud of is not as idyllic as we thought in terms of equality, freedom and ecology. Three aspects that the Curitiba Manifesto highlights as the axis of future sustainable urban environments in the context of sustainable goal number 11. The family perspective appears to be the correct answer to a holistic approach, as the family unit has proven to be the main agent for development societies and the cornerstone for sustainable cities. As we have proven with our project on SDGs and families, family policies are a mainstay of national public policies and the most meaningful bake of governments to influence the living standards of upcoming generations. That would be the right way to establish equality, freedom, ecology, and to reach all members of society, leaving no one behind. We are presenting today the first monitoring report of the project and showcasing some good practices by every signatory of the Venice Declaration. I want to thank the Veneto region and especially Mr. Roberto Ciambetti for their ongoing leadership and inspiration highlighted in a special way during this past months by their strategy during the pandemic and also for by the law for the support of family and natality which can be a guide for many other territories to implement a family perspective the report and the practices showed today will be presented next world cities day to the united nations they represent a step forward, while we expect the next meeting to be presential and we take advantage of the present situation to consolidate the social protection especially needed in today's world. I want also to thank all of you for your ongoing work and effort during these hard times. The past will probably not come again exactly as it was, and the present is not what we want to keep. We can't change that. But it is the future that depends on how we use all those lessons to promote a new set of rules and the family values detailed in different aspects along the Venice Declaration. Look now as the best guide for it, for making the invisible visible and realize that most of what was visible up to now has become irrelevant. This is and will be the real challenge for local and regional governments during the next years. We need to develop and deepen each of those points, show how relevant they have become and spread their contents to other territories that can join our project. I take advantage on, of this occasion to thank all the external participants in the meeting and invite them to consider sending the declaration and to all of us to find new partners and stakeholders that can be part of this endeavor. And with this, I give the floor to the team that has been in charge of producing the report and um, evaluating the work all of you have done. Let me introduce you 
to uh, Wilson Levy and Jose Eduardo Staropoli from the University Nove de Giulio, Uni Nove, who will explain more in detail uh, how the report has been done. Thank you very much.